Hello and welcome back to yet another Sunday. We missed last Sunday, but that's okay because I the weekend was crazy for me. I saw family and then I was supposed to stream on Monday, but that didn't happen because the dealership was taking extremely long to change the oil in my car. That took God knows how long. I was there from 3 o'clock to like 7.30 um, because they double booked multiple times or something. But, nonetheless, uh, here is Jean Lee's part two of his quest. I'm very excited for this. Very, very excited. Let us begin. I did also accidentally start his quest um, because I went to uh, the Adventures Guild, but that's okay. I haven't done anything else with it. But, uh, but we're gonna start now, and I'm really excited for this. Hello, sir. Must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? How could you tell? Well, Paimon, I guess he wouldn't be expecting anyone else now, would he? <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Oh. As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to cover all contingencies. <laughs> it is! By it is people! I, shot, I mean, this is people's quest, so... Analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. <laughs> Besides, this guy's the best in his field. <laughs> no matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. <laughs> Yet the man doesn't have any money himself. I'd go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tevat that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. <laughs> You're a fool if you think you found Tevet's number one rock expert. Well, I mean, he's the Lord of Geo. Oh, then why might that be? Because Tevet's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. Come on, but Zhang Li is listening to the storyteller. Let's head over. <laughs> yeah, let's just go grab the literal <laughs> god of Geo. <laughs> Where are you? There you are, you beautiful man. <laughs> In our last tale, Rex Lapis. Zhang Li, there you are! Oh, here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. <laughs> I find it funny that he's listening to people talk about his history. Something I'm rarely short of. We need someone who understands geology and ore. Hmm. <laughs> someone who understands geology and ore. <laughs> Take a look around. Is there anyone in Tibet more qualified? <laughs> to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Paimon just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. I love him. Oh, my God, I love him. He's so beautiful. <laughs> really? And he's as broke as I am. But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in the sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. He genuinely just likes to learn and I love it. It's so great. It's who he is. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's just who he is. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. He's so damn modest and I love him. Uh-huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. I don't like- Why are his eyebrows like that? Bruh! 
You you are the the embodiment of the evil emoji. Uh, oh no, do they know each other? They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. <laughs> this guy no looks so mad. He looks so mad. I am sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Dude, what is wrong with you? Is that natural or are you just that mad? Are you constipated? What's wrong with you? Which is I skill I have worth talking about. I don't trust you with a grain of salt. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunju. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. Yeah, no, there's something wrong here. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunju. <laughs> uh. Of course not. I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you will accept my friendship. Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. <laughs> you won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he's going to outlive you. <laughs> Those sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock. They've been eaten by Zhang Li's dog. We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Hello. Lapis. Kunju, what do you have there? Oh, right on time. That uh, hold on, is core lapis really that big? Wait a minute. Is it okay? It doesn't ever look that big when you break it. Did you find anything? Hello, sir. Your men were carried off by a child. <laughs> There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Yeah, well, that kid's just been hanging out in Junior and Cars for a very long time, very alone. Go. We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. Reconvene at Wang Shu Win tomorrow evening. Agreed. Oh, we going to see Zhao? No, probably not. Right. But that would be Beyond funny. We'll that would be funny. Especially, I'm pretty sure Zhao. So, yeah, Zhao doesn't know that he's still alive. So. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. I can't. I can't. I literally said Zhao and then. <laughs> I can't let you in right now. <laughs> Dragonfall. Mm. Dragonfall is often used in forging. I. I I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very absent lately. Name oh. and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. In He's fact, possessed. I'm extremely anxious, as if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. He's possessed. Paimon, you don't have to repeat what he just said. See, if I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Modest as always, helpful as always. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhongli. You're too kind. I agree. Think nothing of it. I don't trust you, though, with a ten-foot pole. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. <gasps> Wait! The path they chose, there will be traces. Are we going to the chasm? Great, let's have a look. <gasps> no, we're not, but this I want to know what this is so bad. What do we Wait, there are tracks. 
There's a basket. That's a track? These must have been left by the miners. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. You see nothing. This is not a five foot eleven man in a good looking suit going across the sky. Mind your own business. Uh, oh, I don't want to fight the ruin guard. I don't want to fight the ruin guard. Now those are tracks. I don't know what Paimon was talking hey, about. Footprints. Yeah, no shit. It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. With as much as it rains, I'm shocked that there's anything there at all. It's been what six days. Sir, you are in a very dangerous area. A very dangerous, but you know. Hello. Stop bothering me. Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Jeez, but whatever. Ba, ba. Slap. Slap, slap. Oh no, oh no, 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 I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk to you. No, 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 no. You are not the person I was interested in. Hello. No! Ugh. You are not the person I wanted to talk to. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all I got. You just got murdered. Oh, it's the girl from the trailer. Uh, the the voices. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't got. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this at all. Huh? Oh no no no! You don't. <laughs> Not again. Leave me alone, Satan. More footprints. <gasps> There's a person over there. A oh, real please save me. Oh god. Oh, I don't wanna fight the Geo Bishop Hapsley. Time for takeoff. Yahoo! Look at Barbara's little tiny numbers. <laughs> this is order. You son of a bitch! How could you? Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? Bruh, who else is going to be walking around with a creepy looking child? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. For once you speak decent words. Uh, what? Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. It looks promising. I'll do my best. Those uh, his eyes are so judging. Hmm. <sighs> it's the same group, of <laughs> Mr. Kunju. Your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. It's a good thing we brought our could you? <laughs> you think so? I guess it's I don't well trust you. I do not trust you. Like yeah, no, that does. This that. is no ordinary incident. Yeah, no, that do sound. That's some Annabelle bullshit right there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. It's a dead man. He's dead. Oh, and the colors change as you turn. But of course.
course. Take it. And this one is for. Uh. Take it. Huh? Is, is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. No, something else Thanks. is up. I'm something like else them. is up. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going You sure like rocks, huh, could you? I don't trust him with a ten foot pole! The crystals of the earth. The sediment of time itself. Get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. Rest easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Jean Lee, I don't know what you call danger, but I know for a fact to the right of us is a massive hillichol camp. Massive! Oh, however, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? What's with Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? Actually, it does, but according to the game, no. Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. When the fighting ceased, these geological remnants were miraculously preserved. Mm? And yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between, relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Why is it then? That a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the earth. I told you he was sketchy as fuck. Yeah. If he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined. Liu. Hyman doesn't get it. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But for someone like Mr. Kunjun whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself. It's practically unheard of. Ulterior motives? <gasps> is he a villain? Yes! A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. I told you, I don't trust him with a ten-foot pole! Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, Sooner or later, the tide will reveal the lie of the land. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have more investigation ahead. In other words, that's speak for you're about to get effed up. We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, we can return and attend to him. I suggest we leave a note for Uncle Dai. If he does find the camp, he'll know what to do. Yeah, no, that was chalk for we are about to go through a lot of shit. Are you prepared to die multiple times? I don't know. Am I? Am I prepared to die? <laughs> You make so many noises. So many noises, dear lord. Hello. What's up, boy? Bro, your eyebrows just scream bad person. I don't trust him. Oh no. Azaha, please be gentle. <laughs> please be gentle. Wow. Such an immense tree. And there's so many mysterious looking crystals up there too. 
This ancient tree. Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take that area. Perhaps. All right then. Oh. He is. What are you going? Oh, I know. Oh, he's going. Ah. Well, there is this stone tablet here. He going to see the puppy dog. I knew there was something wrong with you. <gasps> this is. Hey, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past. Nothing to worry about. I don't trust you with the ten foot pole. <gasps> He's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. <laughs> I don't want to go play with the puppy dog. <laughs> I haven't actually. Oh, oops. I haven't actually ever. I'm afraid that this whole tunnel is the fruit of their strenuous labor. Huh? That gate? Has it been there all along? Digging a tunnel to this ancient seal. Had they not been discovered, they would undoubtedly persevere until the gate. <laughs> happened oh no he's so annoyed <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what the hell why is it level 82 Not this, not this. <laughs> as long as I stay behind so, it, I'm safer. The little girl is your power incarnate. But if you recall, Ishtar, this is not how we intended for events to transpire. Waste not your words. Your life is mine. Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Uh! <laughs> You have no idea how much I hate this boss so much. Like, literal, I just hate every bit of it. Just keep everyone healed, and we'll be fine. Just keep everyone healed, and the shield up, and everything's fine. As long as we have the shield, we're fine. I maxed out his HP so the shield would be strong. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Ah, oh, it's so little damage! No! You are very beautiful! You know that? You're very beautiful. Oh! 
That's right, Barbara. Heal, Barbara. Heal. Solidify. Order guide you. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Thirty K crit. That's fine. That's fine. If we can get a couple more of those. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Solidify. Heal everybody. Heal everybody. This is gonna take forever, man. Oh my god. He does remind me of my bearded dragon, though. If that is what you choose to believe, so be it. He who bears the weight of memory is destined to shoulder the burden of truth, as it ought to be. What? So much is happening right now. Retribution. Whoa. Keep, just keep the shield up. Just keep the shield up, and we're good. Just keep the shield up. As long as the shield is up, we're good. Woo! Close. That was close. That was close. God, even with like elemental mastery and energy recharge, it's still not enough. Normally I can build his ult really fast, but this, this is taking forever. But see, he's my heaviest hitter though. Just keep the shield up. Shield up. How do I have two pillars out right now? I should only have one out. How the hell do I have two? to say if you moved out of the way when I did that I was gonna be very mad where do you think you're going what are you what are you doing sir are you okay think you can get away Uh, shield, 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 shield. I can't, uh, I can't summon it. Barbara, go! Level 60 Barbara, let's pop off! Go, Barbara, go! Go, Barbara, go! Go, Barbara, go! Brace yourself. Stabilize. Secure. 
Come on. I just need his old least once more. Calm down, calm down. Like, jeez, man. He'll be here having a temper tantrum. Like, like I get it, but still, like, calm down, man. This should be the last thing. Oh! Oh, oh boy. Destroy all deemed redundant. Endless tyrants to ravage the wilderness. No. You have forgotten. What the fuck? That voice. Hey, stop. What the fuck? Your age to the very same. During the battle, you imbued us with your power. <laughs> yes. What is image. What is going on? Give me for concealing the truth, traveler. There this are things that only became clear to me upon reaching this tree. What the fuck is going on? This is like the biggest plot twist I've ever seen. Allow me to elaborate. I am not Ajda the whole, but a fragment. Uh. Yin and Earth. Yin and Yang. What the fuck? I had sensed that something was amiss when you mentioned Dragonfall. Had your power been but a little stronger, I would have recognized you. Damn. He's smiling! Oh, look at the smile! This is completely out of like context of what we're like talking about but look at how happy like he's genuinely happy like oh don't blame yourself i have changed beyond all recognition oh and yet you could see you wouldn't know the yearning of a blind dragon searching for the sun a pair of eyes from a morax to page da. This. I will remember this. <sighs> Your power is nearly spent. Ah. Perceptive as always, my friend. This is sad. Shall we get going, you and I? Surely the pressing matter is still that of the miners trapped outside the seal. Indeed. Hence the need to get going. To fix the damage left in your wake. Hmm. Straight down to business as always. What? <laughs> a chest! A precious chest! <laughs> I've needed this so for so long. <laughs> Nothing. Pay it no mind. Those three miners are over there. Oh yeah, he's definitely cave. not gonna notice the deeper voice and the the bright aura that's floating around you. Yeah, definitely not gonna notice that, huh? Cave. What? They're exhausted, but not in danger. Don't worry, Ajdaha. I am no longer the Geo Archon. I can sense it. Oh. Oh no. Today I am just an ordinary citizen of Mew. Even you met such a fate. <sighs> Let's get the difficult part out of the way. I cannot guarantee that I won't be awoken a second time. No matter. If that day comes to pass, Leo must prepare itself to face you. Just two old men having a chat under a tree. He was. Centuries may have passed since then, but events from a thousand years ago remain crystal clear in my mind. So sad. In our last tale, oh? Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountain. <clears throat> he heard a remote voice, unlike any other, coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. 
The voice was sometimes sad and song-like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world, and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes. Quicker than words could tell, lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds! I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater blessing the ground. Why are the animations always so beautiful? Why? They're always so gorgeous. Personally sealing away an old friend. This is just one form of erosion I have endured. People abandon and surrender the things they love to pursue the right path. Perhaps this is the erosion imposed on me by the natural order of this world. Conria? I'm just saying. Conria. But I was a god of mankind. My identity may change, but my eyes will bear witness to the history of humanity. You still care a lot about Liyue. Call it... <sighs> part of my duty. I must thank you both. Oh no, we're asking about Conria, aren't oh. we? About what? Oh yeah, I'm so... Not long ago, we met a guy called Dane. He told us about Conria and the punishment of the gods. That's when we realized that those events were connected to the person we're searching for. Oh no. Xiang Li, you're a god. You've lived through thousands of years of history. Surely you experienced the incident? Hmm. Oh, I don't like that face. Uh, I cannot say. Oh. Why? Contract. He's literally, he's literally made a contract with Celestia, probably. He actually can't say anything. You can't I understand, but I must apologize. I knew it! This is my contract. <laughs> He's, he actually, oh. The thing is though, is the contract with Celestia or is the contract with the sibling? You mean another past grievance? Like the incident with Ejda? Too painful to talk about? No, Paimon, you dumb bitch. He's actually made a contract with someone and he's got a contract, so he can't break it. It was signed before it all began. What? I always honored the contract and kept my silence. So this was he, Hold on. Okay, so the contract whoever he made it with Celestia or the twin or whatever was made before the events of the downfall of Conria then? How can you be like that? Shut up, Paimon. You're not helping the situation. You two are friends to me. I can assure it brings me no pleasure to disappoint you. But as the god of contracts, I cannot go back on my word. Would you be ready to find out? It appears your understanding of this world continues to grow. There are many events of ages they have been eroded by time. Forgotten by the people. Abandoned. But you are capable of finding them and bringing them into the light. Oh? Oh? 
Those who come to witness will witness. Those who are born to remember will remember. If you take the same road as that person, there <gasps> may be more difficulties ahead. But as long as you firmly believe that you are on the right path, everything has meaning. Okay, okay, okay! So he can't say anything, right? But he's literally telling you that, yes, he has, one, seen your sister. Two, that the path you're following is the same that your sibling has done. And that, three... Your path may still end up being different from your sibling and have a different view of, upon to that. And that's the end of the quest, isn't it? No! Oh! <laughs> Why are his quests so intense? They're so intense. Oh my gosh. Ah! It's okay, though. What I'm really sad about is that a lot of people after doing this quest hate Vindy and Jean Lee like crazy now and are like being really mean to people who, you know, use them. I got both of them on my team and they're not going off my team. I love them and I, I don't care. I don't care. Whenever we find out what happens is what happens. And if it turns out that they're bad people, that's fine. I like bad characters. I mean, I want Scaramouche, so. I don't know who talks more, Venti or Jean Lee. But nonetheless, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. If you want to hang out with me live, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 7 p.m. EST. And we play a bunch of things. I do co-op with a lot of people. We do Bed Wars, Minecraft, Persona. I like, I have a ton of games, man. Um, but I would love it if you stop by, say hi, hang out, lurk. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Sean Lee, really. Um... But also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe later. It's 100% free. And I hope I'll see you here next Sunday. Or, since this is Sunday right now, I hope I see you tomorrow at the stream. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> if you'd like to see me race tourist spots, uh, I have a few references. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.